EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Tiburon. Frank, it's just amazing what can be done today. Where you can build golf courses on the moon? I mean, that, that's what this looks like here at Wolf Creek in Mesquite, Nevada. And obviously, it's an experience, too, that uh, has to be played before you can thoroughly enjoy it. Um, because you just wouldn't think this is possible. If someone said you can come out to the middle of the desert and you're going to play a phenomenal golf course, you'd say it's not possible. But uh, as these holes oh, intertwine around in the canyon area, um, just wonderful vistas, uh, huge changes in elevations. But really, it's just a, a fun adventure. This one has a chance to be really good. Frank, that's as good as I have seen all day long. Um, I think we're going to blame that on the weather. That weather, the, the wind had to help that ball, give it another 20, 30 yards. Frank, what does the shot into this first green look like? Well, it's back a little bit up the hill. Uh, bunkers left and right, really the, the biggest concern, but a well flighted shot to this three-level green will be well rewarded. Seems to like it. Looks like it's oh. headed for the green. Nice. Couldn't have done much better than that. An eagle is very possible. Locked in on the read and the speed. So two under early on. Eagle the first hole in the Ready to tee off here at the second hole. Quite a view from up here, Frank. Once again, uh, big elevated tee. And it's hard to imagine they have a tee that high up, but uh, that'll shorten that 445 yards. Obviously, it's a dog leg left. Um, you've got to be careful if you hit driver and two straight because then you can run out. Um, a nice tee shot in the middle there, and then you've got a, a relatively straight shot into this sort of par four green, obviously going a little bit back up the hill. And once again, a little bit like that opening hole, sort of different tiers on that green. Try and make sure that you're on the right one. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. These putts keep the round together. Turn. Oh. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Could use this one. This is for par. Even with that par, we'll drop down on the leaderboard. Time to uh, change gears. Thirty time. Frank, 227 yards from the back tee here at the par three third. This is all you want. Oh, that's for sure. Plays a little longer than that, too, by virtue of playing uphill. Thin air might negate some of that. Uh, there's going to be a good shot just to keep the ball on the green. One of the smaller greens here. Can't even hit the make the green. Oh, no. Crap. Well, that was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, what's the best way to get at the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? You have to accept the fact, first and foremost, that you're not going to get clean contact. So you have to decide whether the ball's going to come out short or it's going to fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. 
So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're gonna have to take at least another club. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not gonna see much better than that all day today. Settles in over the putt. That's a solid par. Still in it, Frank. Still in it, Frank. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in now on our featured golfer here at the fourth. A couple of birdies already on the card. Still early, Frank, but we've seen some solid play. This is exactly how you want to start the first round of a tournament, Rich. Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Good chance to make birdie here, Frank, as we get set for the approach here at the fourth hole. Yeah, the fourth green, as you can see, is set in a little bit of a bowl with that backdrop behind it. Um, really, the biggest problem is if you come up short, that false front, uh, it does feed off the right and the left side there. So, you know, shot not quite hit as well as you would like and still kick towards the flag. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. How about this hole, Frank? Par 5 fifth. If you stand on this tee for the first time, you've got virtually no idea where you've got to aim. Do you aim at left of those bunkers? Do you aim it over the sort of the canyon? Um, really, <laughs> the answer is how far do you hit it? Because that is going to determine the line that you hit it on. Avoid the water, that little stream. You can always have a drink on the way if you want to, I guess. Second shot plays uphill, but this is a relatively short par five, so very reachable. But you can see you've got to flight that second shot. You want to make sure that ball's coming in nice and high to this green that's perched up. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Pure strike, good result. Right, and that is close. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Oh, I'm you can't leave an eagle putt short. Now listen, anytime I left it short, I didn't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody you left it short. All right, I won't see anything. For a birdie. Starting to play some good golf with that birdie moves to four under for the tournament. The lead. Well, Frank, round one in the books. Look who's on top of the leaderboard. The lead. And that's with some strong play today. They don't really need to look back. Um, strong play heading into the second round tomorrow. Oh, drop a shot. So does was a book. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today it's live second round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Navalo. We're here in the state of Nevada getting set for what should be a wonderful day of golf. Wolf Creek Golf Club is the site for the action. And Frank, this really is the definition of desert golf. It is spectacular. The green oasis, Rich, amongst this canyon here is just something to be seen, really. Uh, it's hard to imagine you can actually build a golf course like this. Elevated tees, Pretty huge changes in elevation, and you're sort of homes. weaving your way around this magnificent sort of topography. and. Uh, to be honest, I've never really seen a golf course like this. It's just an oasis. Amazing. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Well, it's going to take a good one here, considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. What do you mean, some really poor play to this point? Oh, 
This is a good looking shot. Oh. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. It's the beautiful part of golf. Brand new day, new hole. Remember, he made a bogey here yesterday. This time for birdie. I made bogey. Oh. oh, painful lip out. There's a good pot. Absolutely can't believe it. I thought that thing was stone dead in the center. Bogey here yesterday. Chance to better that today. Right. Okay. Did the job right there. Three shots up to the... We're here at the downhill par 3, 11th hole. Frank, it's 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough, just persuade yourself. Try not to look at the canyon in the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot God I won't have damn. this for birdie. Would he even give me a read? I wouldn't. I, I doubt he will. He won't give me a read. He won't give me a read. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Even par, currently. Oh! Oh, that even caught me by surprise, Rich. I thought par was in the bag. I bottled it. This now for bogey. This hole is really getting the best of them. For bogey, once again. Damn. Well, too bad. He gives one back. Four shots behind now. Par 5, 12th, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating. It, it can. Water down the left, uh, they'll take a huge dent off your scorecard. Uh, a lot of fairway down the right. Somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable in two. There's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier. This, without doubt, the longest green on the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. That was nuclear. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Should be safely on deck. That was just a gutsy shot right there and a good look at Eagle coming up. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Oh, way too fast. Damn. That was just a lousy putt right there. No other way to say it. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Thirteenth hole here at Wolf Creek, and Frank, anyone can say, oh, I'm going to take this one over the trees. But very few can stand up and say, I'm flying this baby clear over the mountains. Yeah, if you take the direct route, um, obviously it's going to be much shorter than the 350 yards that it's measured as That's a dog leg right. right. So the direct line, well, I don't want to tell you the exact yardage because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's going to be a blind tee shot, though. 
and you're not quite sure on the outcome. Frank, it hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Christ, look at this. The, um, the drop. Left or right? Oh. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. This is gonna be a tough shot. Frank going for two in a row now. Jesus. So one shot closer to the lead with that Good 30. 14th hole here at Wolf Creek. Time to pull out the driver Good and yeah. as well the, the foam because you want to take some pictures here. Yeah. What a spectacular view. Stunning. You can see a whole panoramic sort of 360 degrees right around this golf course. Then when you flick back and actually look at the 14th hole, there's six bunkers. Three really in play with the tee shot as you can see. The other three just up by the green. Anything to the right of those is, uh, is preferred. Unless you want to be playing your second shot out of the canyon or the bunkers. Um, green should be fairly receptive and three distinct portions, which is sort of a common trait here at uh, Wolf Creek. That's sort of uh, three different tier levels and that. But let's see, birdies that'll be made at Wolf Creek, maybe even one here. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Strong wind here early in the round. Good swing, good shot yet again. Nice. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Excellent read for Birdie to move Shot to off. five under for the tournament. Now to the short par three, 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. What is this, Frank? Just a wedge or a nine iron? That's all, Rich, but it's very tempting to get greedy here. And, uh, well, you pay the price, obviously, if you miss the, miss the, the green on the left down on those bunkers because they're, well, a good six, seven feet below the level of the green. But uh, with a wedge or a nine iron, he doesn't go aim at the flag. Frank has missed the green here in regulation, but still hasn't missed the chance to make the par. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if he's got this shot in his toolbox coming up. Damn it. What was that? These are the kind of putts that keep a round going about 10 feet away for par. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Oh, come on. Struggling a bit with the oh. flat stick and the drop shot here at the 15th hole. And this will be a five foot putt here. Bogey on pair three. Damn it. Not the best stuff we've seen today, that's for sure. Yeah, bogeys aren't going to cut it, especially when you should be making a move in the other direction. This course there you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? Two shots behind. Well, I think anybody looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top ten of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of golf there in that first ten is excellent. Still two shots behind. Still two rounds to go, though.